Okay, these ingredients were just calling me today. So, with these ingredients, I'm about to fry some chicken. Hello, guys. So, we got 99 cent chicken. It was on sale. Let me show you what to do with it real quick. So, about these things were just calling me. So, I kind of looked up a recipe for it, but then, you know, I'm always going to throw my own thing. But this is just a caramelized onion dip. I don't have any um, yogurt, so I'm going to use this instead. I'm going to put it right on the chicken. And then when you're frying chicken, you know, yellow mustard is a must. I'm going to put a little bit of that. I'm using a lot because there is <laughs> there's quite a bit of chicken in here. And I'm going to use some garlic. Mm, about that much. That looked about right. I'm going to do the curry first. So it's going to be curry fried chicken. This is brand new. I could never figure out what to use this on. And then today, when we had the sale on the chicken, I was asking my husband, I was like, have you ever had curry fried chicken? He was like, no, but I'll try it. So, it gave, I, took, I took a minute and looked up just like two recipes to see if it wasn't even a thing and to see. But if it wasn't, I still was going to try it. I didn't care. But there were people making curry fried chicken. So, I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to take this top off. Yeah, there we go. Um, so there were people making it and I seen a couple ways that they did it and I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Let me get in here and see how I'm going to do mine. And this is what I came up with when I went in my pantry and my refrigerator. These were the items that called out at me. So that's what I'm doing. Now I'm going to get in here and mix this all up. I'm probably going to have my husband come put some more seasoning on it. Yeah, I'm gonna need some more curry. I'm gonna get that all coated. Get each piece. And I'm gonna marinate this for about an hour. Probably two, because my daughter wanna go swimming. So I'm probably gonna marinate this for about two hours. Come back and fry it up. Meantime, I have some turkey necks boiling on the stove to make some pinto beans. And I'm gonna come back and make macaroni and cheese. So you wanna coat it completely. These look good. And they smell delicious, like they smell really good. So. I'm gonna wash my hands up. And probably put a little bit more curry on top just so you can have that nice flavor of it. My kitchen is very, very small too. So <laughs> everything's done on this little counter here because we don't have a lot of space. Just gonna put a wee bit more. I'm gonna take my spoon and mix it around. And then I'm gonna set this off in the refrigerator for a few hours to marinate. It smells really, really good. So I hope it tastes just as good. Cause like I said, I haven't done this before. I like to experiment to cook. It's like one of the best ways to cook your food. <laughs> but yeah. We're going to get it in there. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That look good. I'm going to wash my hands again. Because I got some on there. Okay. I'm going to clean up and I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Real quick. We about to make this cornbread. My husband picked this up. I have never had cinnamon spice cornbread with nutmeg at all. We about to try it. I'm gonna let y'all know how it tastes. I'm making it by the box. I'm not gonna change up nothing. No, maybe, I don't know. 
I'll tell you what I do when I start. I do have a tendency to just uh, remix recipes and do it how I want to do it. But this is our first time trying this, so I might just leave it as is. We'll see. Okay, for this recipe, it calls for one third cup of water, one third cup of milk, and then one egg. small egg so I'm gonna do two it's a very small egg yeah that's the only switch them up thing I'm gonna do to it Gonna make it like I said, as directions say. You can, yeah, you can smell the spiciness, mm. the spices in it. I ain't, I'm not sure if I like that or not, but this is what he picked up today. And the family voted for this one. I knew I was gonna pick regular. And I knew my my vote wasn't gonna have a fighting chance. So this is what it's and this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, so this is how it came out. I put it in a smaller pan because I kinda want thicker pieces. Cause I do have beans. So I want to be able to get a big old piece of cornbread and sop up that juice from the beans. But this is what it looks like. I'm going in the oven with it. And I'm about to shred my cheese for my macaroni and cheese and I will be back. Now I'm back. I'm about to do my macaroni and cheese. I basically will have to cook tomorrow because my kids left. So... Now, it's only me and Zoe about to eat this. So, let's grate me up some cheese. It's so much better when you do it yourself. I have some already shredded too, though, in the refrigerator that I'm going to use because I need it to get rid of it. But I'm going to grate some myself too. Make sure I'm you know damn plastic. I got my oil back there heating up for to fry my chicken. My chicken has been marinating for about five hours now because I had to do some errands. Um, I mean, I got my chicken back there frying. And some mac and cheese up on the hot stone. Let me grab some more cheese. I'll get back with y'all in just a minute. Look at that chicken. 
Yeah, yeah, take the bad chicken. Let me show you this mac and cheese. This mac and cheese. About to smack. I got tired of fucking shredding up that cheese. I'm gonna cut my damn finger so that big cheese piece in the back. Um, I have some mozzarella cheese left over in the bag, like the other cheeses. So I'm about to throw this sucker right up in the oven. <laughs> then it's almost done.